Oh, thank you. Oh, I am. Matt's hand work. Water bottle. Pencil case. Oh, pencil case. Be it again. Your tracksuit is in there. It's like the generation game, this. Uh, calculator. Crew snack. I don't remember you having to take so much stuff. Didn't go to school like, did I? Clean-ish. Football boots. Fat, league tables, Jamie Oliver's dinners. Oh, no, he's coming home today. Won't eat that toffee. Uh, well, what's he meant to be a kid? Science project. <laughs> Supposed to walk. Come here, I'll give you that. No, I'm all right. Say goodbye, I will be late. Bye. Bye, Bye darling. Bye. See ya. It's his first day back. But then you won't remember that feeling, will you? Because you never went. No wonder I used to get all those letters. Sorry, time. It's a fact, Phil. My mother's all right in my head. Oh, Gary, give it a rest, will you? Oh, and we do get on OK. Oh, yes, we do. Yeah, if she's in a different country or a different continent, I quite like her. Yeah, and that ain't my fault. And it's not my fault either if she's, well, loud, faultless and, and so bloody embarrassing. You know, she makes me feel like I'm 15 sometimes. Now, no one else does that to me. On and on and on, finding new ways of humiliation. You know, she just doesn't know when to shut up. She doesn't know when enough is enough and never has. Gary, will you just shut up for two minutes, will you? It's just that you don't understand what it's like, right? And let me just get this bit out, to have a, a gobby, frankly, tarty mother that gets in your life and completely takes it over. No. so flattering, I think. Mm. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you'd have to feel like a real princess to wear a dress like that. You know, you'll blow Phil away. Oh, no, not for me, Peggy. I couldn't wear a dress like that. I mean, maybe if we were planning a really big wedding, you know, and I was going to have loads of bridesmaids dressed in lavender and a chocolate fountain at the reception and a honeymoon in the castle or something, but <laughs> not just for me and a silly little dude in Walford. Oh, Peggy, I'm sorry. I, I don't mind that it's a little do in Walford. I mean, we haven't even got a date yet. And, oh, that's, that's far too expensive. I mean, I haven't got time to think about wedding dresses, really. Silly dreams. Oh, you learn as a kid. Yeah, you spend more than one day or one night with her and she will show you up. Just, just put a sock in it with you. Yeah, and I'm not just talking about spitting on a handkerchief and wiping your face in front of your first girlfriend, neither. I'm talking about catastrophic. I'm talking about, I mean, tears, you know, because she will mess it up. Somehow, my mother will do the one thing, the very one thing that I most dread happening just, in the world. Just, just give it a rest, will ya? Well, the only thing you're in danger of doing is losing your job and you're well on your way to doing that without your mother being here. So just, just shut up. 